So I'm just going to review how to write ionic compounds that involve polyatomic ions. So if you see uh, the name of a compound, like calcium nitrate, uh, and you're asked to write the formula, uh, what you'll be looking for is, first of all, that the, the metal, the calcium, you'll get the symbol right off of your periodic table, calcium, Ca, and you'll see that it has an ion charge of plus 2. You read that right off the table. You would also know that because it's in the second family, and all of the elements in the second family have an ion charge of plus 2. Nitrate is the non-metal part of this compound. Now, uh, nitrate, the ending, A-T-E, that is your clue that you're dealing with a polyatomic ion. And so you'd want to look at your polyatomic ion list, which is part of your data booklet. You find nitrate, you'll see it's NO3, and the charge of nitrate is negative 1. And from here on, you just treat it exactly like it's a single element, even though it's a nitrogen bonded to three oxygens. These do not separate very easily. So you can just treat it like any other non-metal ion. You want to balance out the ion charges and to do that you'll have to add another nitrate so that adds up to negative 2 to balance the positive 2. Um, another way to think of this is that each calcium atom is going to lose two electrons. That's why it has a positive 2 charge. It's losing two negative charges, so it will have a positive two charge. Um, and then you can think of the nitrate as wanting to gain an electron to give it a negative one charge. So each calcium has two electrons to give. Each nitrate wants, you can think of it that way, that it wants to gain an electron. Of course, it doesn't really want to do anything, it's just a compound. But um, so you have a positive 2 and a negative 2. There's one calcium for every two nitrates. Right? There's one, there's two. So the formula calcium, and I want to write that there's two nitrates. And how I do that? I put nitrate in brackets and I put a 2 outside the bracket.